Welcome to UFI variables. In this section, we will learn about key components uh, used to keep user configuration data in UFI BIOS uh, firmware. So UFI variables can control firmware behavior, uh, but uh, on other side have to be updatable and adjustable by end user. Uh, because of those different properties, protection of UFI variables is different than protection of UFI BIOS code, and we have to take that into consideration when um, developing a firmware when uh, designing platforms. So we know that uh, UFI variables are used to store UFI firmware configuration data. Uh, but uh, what are the examples of, of such data, such configuration data? So one good example is boot order. So boot order uh, we typically experience every time we boot our computer and it chooses the boot media, either it starts from network, either it starts from USB, or it starts from uh, some, some disk. Um, other examples are keys used for UFI secure boot uh, provisioning and configuration like platform key or key exchange key. And we will learn about those in other OST2 uh, lectures. Um, variables are defined as a key value pairs. Uh, the key consists of identifying information and attributes. So identifying information can be GUID or some name. And attributes uh, are, will be discussed later. Uh, those are the crucial part of our, how UFI variables are treated by the UFI implementation. And the second part is the value. And value is typically some arbitrary data, uh, typically in binary format. UFI specification does not cover variable storage media requirements. And, and security related to that media. So it is up to the platform designer uh, to provide uh, some mechanisms to protect media and to make it available in, in a way that, um, that UFI BIOS can use it. So, uh, but what kind of uh, capabilities this storage have to have? So most uh, variables will have to be persistent across the reboots. And so, so, but of course we can imagine uh, variables which are not persistent, which which are just passed from firmware, uh, created in firmware, passed from firmware to operating system, but most of the variables will require persistence. So system um, also have to be designed in a way that variables are available each time the system boots. So using removable storage should be avoided. And uh, of course, because the storage have to be accessed by, uh, by BIOS code, then uh, it have to be relatively simple uh, to be accessed at very early boot stage. Uh, so initialization of that hardware uh, cannot be too, too complex. Since storage with such capabilities may be constrained, we, we should use uh, variables only if other means of configuration communication uh, cannot be used. So what we mean by other means of configuration communication? So for example, uh, system tables like ACPI tables, SMBIOS tables. Those can be also used for communication between firmware and operating system. Uh, but last resort, we have um, UFI variables. Variables are typically stored in dedicated area of firmware device, which consists typically couple firmware volumes. And typically one of these uh, firmware volumes uh, has subtype, subtype NVRAM. And that's the place where the, where, where the UFI variables are stored. The goal of variables is to provide uh, all the required information for UFI compatible system components like, like boot firmware, um, bootloaders, operating system, UFI applications. But recently there is even work, for example, in core boot, which is not UFI compatible, uh, to also support UFI variables. So uh, other, um, other components also consider UFI variables, uh, supporting UFI variables. Spe specification of services related to handling UFI variables are part of um, runtime services section in UFI specification. Uh, so detailed description can be found in chapter 8.2. And uh, final, final information is that knowledge of UFI variables is critical to understanding UFI secure boot technologies. technologies so uh, please pay attention to the next sections. Those will be critical to understand uh, how UFI secure boot works.